All right, guys, so the moment of truth. Three, two, one. What's going on, guys? So in this big brown box right here is supposedly a used limited edition Spider-Man PS4 Pro from GameStop. So if you're not familiar with the Spider-Man PS4 Pro, I'll throw up a link on the screen right now. I actually did an unboxing of this console like a year and a half ago when it came out. I think it was like September 2018 when the Spider-Man game came out for the PS4. Uh, but it's a nice red looking console. And so basically I decided to order a used one from GameStop because I actually sold my uh, Spider-Man PS4 Pro a while back because I just I had no use for it. Uh, but I decided to buy this one from GameStop and as you can see, this is where the shipping label was. I ordered it online, and we're gonna open this thing up and see what's inside. So, right off the bat, I have one concern, uh, one big concern is uh, this right here. So this to me tells me that they put the, the box inside is too big for the outer box. So basically what I mean is they put the PS4 Pro on the in, in the inside and it's bulging. So um, they didn't use a box that's big enough. And the other concern uh, that you might may have heard when I tilted this box is the box or whatever's inside is sliding around. So that's a little concerning, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we find inside. So as I said, this is from GameStop. I actually don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was like 350 bucks, which to be honest, I think is pretty decent. Uh, I'm actually surprised that GameStop even had this console because usually the uh, good looking limited edition consoles don't even um, make it onto GameStop's website because they, if they do have used consoles, they, I, I don't know, sell them somewhere else or uh, sell them real quickly. I'm not really sure. All right, so here we go. Here is the box. I got a little bit of uh, packaging to it. Um, th that is the one thing GameStop does do decently, at least better than I think they used to do. Um, they used to just kind of toss boxes in here, but they at least use a little bit of uh, packaging protection now. All right, guys, so here is the uh, packing slip. So as you can see, PlayStation 4 Pro, Spider-Man limited edition one terabyte, and it cost me $340 plus shipping and tax. All right guys, so here's the box that comes in. PS4 Pro, as you can see, pre-owned. This box includes the PS4 Pro console, uh, controller, HDMI cable, and of course the free 30-day guarantee. And just all the classic stuff on the sides. And then on this side, you can see that I guess it was inspected on February 28th. Uh, which is actually, I guess, probably right about when I purchased it a couple weeks ago. Um, so that's not bad. At least it hasn't been sitting around in their warehouse forever. Let's see what's inside this this bad boy right here. Kind of excited for this. Uh, it's a nice looking console. It's like nice glossy red. I'm just hoping it doesn't have uh, terrible scratches all over it. That's my main, my, my main worry, but I'm afraid I probably will. But let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so first of all, wow, that's some... Dude, that's some crappy packaging. I can't believe they, they got this nice limited edition console in here and they just toss it in the box just to, just to slide around. It actually looks a little bit better than I thought it would considering it's just sitting in a box with no protection. Uh, but let's go ahead and take it out and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are guys. Here is the console. It actually looks pretty decent. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the accessories first. So this is the one thing that the, the accessories do come in a nice pouch, which I haven't seen this from GameStop before. Um, but that is a pretty solid pouch, not gonna lie. So in that pouch, we had a few things. We have our USB cable for charging the controller. We have an HDMI cable, of course, and then our power cable, nothing special. But I'm actually surprised they gave me the real limited edition controller, because uh, usually when I buy limited edition consoles from GameStop, they just give me some, you know, random crappy controller. Like, usually they, they give me the uh, limited edition console and then like a black controller or something. Uh, but they did give me the red controller, and it seems like it's barely been used, to be honest. And of course, down here we have the console. As you can tell, it's very glossy. Um, I'm trying to look at it in the light, and there are some scratches, but to be honest, it's not scratched up quite as bad as I thought it would be uh, for it being a GameStop console. Now let's, t let's take a look at the front. Um, so it's actually just the top part that is glossy. The bottom part is matte, which is, which is nice, I guess, to help reduce scratches on part of the console. So the front actually looks pretty decent. Um, we'll take a look at the side. It's a little dirty, but I can just wipe it off. And it's, of course, glossy on the top. And the scratches actually aren't too bad, to be honest. And then we turn it over to the back. And as you can see, got all our standard plugs. Got our power, HDMI, um, some kind of proprietary port that I think you use for the PS camera. And some other stuff I don't care about. Um, but it does still have the warranty sticker, which is good. That means nobody's opened this thing up. And on the back, it actually looks pretty nice too. Got some scratches up in the glossy part, but not too many to be honest. And finally, our last side here. And of course, we have the glossy part again. And again, not too scratched up. 
So now that we've unboxed this thing and looked at the console, uh, let's go ahead and plug it in and make sure it actually works. So before I test out this console, just wanted to show you guys this brand new die cut sticker I came out with on my Teespring merch store. Go ahead and check out the link in the description and you get 25% off each sticker. Um, it's actually a pretty high quality sticker, not gonna lie. And as you can tell, it looks like my avatar and my profile pic. Um, I actually think it's kind of funny, uh, but yeah, if you wanna support the channel, uh, go buy one or two or three and stick them on random stuff. All right guys, so I got the HDMI and power plugged into this console. And as you can see, it's actually pretty scratch free. I mean, there's some little fine scratches, but it's, it's really hard to see on the camera. If you were here in person with me, you'd be able to see some of the scratches, but I'm actually pretty impressed with how, uh, you know, scratch free this console is, especially considering how it was laying in that box. Now, the one thing I am concerned about is since it was just laying in that box, I'm concerned that during shipping it might have got banged up and maybe this thing doesn't work anymore. But we're gonna go ahead and see. So, so I got my micro USB cable plugged in um, so that I can plug my controller in. And now that my controller is plugged in, I should be able to turn on the console. And there it is. You can see it's actually one of the newer controllers because it has the light up uh, bar on the touchpad. And you can see the console turned on. So I just turned on my TV and we're gonna wait and see if this thing actually boots up. And here we are guys, it is actually booting up. So we got our Sony logo. Sony Interactive Entertainment, and there we go, boom. All right, so connect to DualShock 4. Already did that, just go ahead and press our button, and there it is, it is booting up. That is a good sign. I think I can skip, yes, I can skip all this. So this is, this is the one thing I love about the PS4 compared to the Xbox, uh, especially for videos like this. It takes no time at all to set anything up. I mean, as you just saw, it took me like 10 seconds to set the whole console up. But with Xbox One, you have to go through like 10 different things. You have to connect it to the internet and you have to download the update and it takes forever. But PS4, it's a breeze right through. And here we are, user one. Uh, looks like this thing has been factory reset, which is a good sign. And yeah, it's all working so far. Let's go ahead and check the settings and see um, what system version we're on. System information 7.02. I'll I, be honest, I haven't really followed the PS4 um, software updates, so so let me know down in the comments if you know what 7.02 is, if that's a special firmware or whatever. Probably not, it's probably like the latest one, um, but I thought I'd check it just in case. And I actually have a game here too, so we can just put it in the console and make sure it works. I was hoping to try the Spider-Man game, um, but unfortunately the Spider-Man game, just so you're aware, it does not come with this console, um, at least when you buy it from GameStop. And I have the Spider-Man game, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> I'm not sure where it is. It might be hiding in the, it might be actually hiding in my other PS4 Pro that I have over here, but I'm not sure. All right, so it is installing, and wow, that was really quick. Let's go ahead and start it up and see if it works. And there it is, so it is working. I'll go ahead and wait until it boots all the way up so we know it's 100% working, but this is one of the few times where I've actually been pretty impressed with GameStop. As you guys saw, just to give a little recap, the console did come in pretty good condition. Um, there's barely any scratches, you know, some fine scratches, but you can't really tell unless you're zoomed in on them. Um, I guess the one thing you can see is there's a little black mark on the spider. Uh, kind of hard, yeah, you can see it there. But other than that, nothing bad. Um, it seems that it works. You can see I'm playing a game right now. Now, if I actually want to play, I have to connect my PSVR, which is a lot of work, so I'm not going to do that right now. But you can see it is working. Uh, I booted it up real quick. You can see my controller is working. The controller is actually in really good condition. There's one little scuff down here that you can't really see. Um, but other than that, it's in great condition. So I'm actually pretty impressed with GameStop on this one. Gotta give them two thumbs up for this. Uh, my only problem was the packaging that this console came in. Uh, you know, that was a little bit disappointing, but I guess it worked out in the end. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I would advise you GameStop to maybe put a little bit better packaging if you want to, you know, keep the business around for a while. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to see future videos like this. So if you guys haven't seen yet, I came out with some die cut stickers on my Teespring store. So if you go ahead and click on the link in the description, you'll get 25% off each uh, sticker. A pretty good deal. These things are actually really high quality. Came out really nice, as you can tell. Um, and of course, help support the channel so I can keep making videos like this. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.